you don't have a foam roller, get one. You're gonna need it. I sell them, by the way. First one, on your back, hands here or here, lift those hips, and roll from the lower back to the upper back. It's gonna feel really good. This will be the easiest one that you do. Might get a few crack a going on. This is definitely something you should do prior to every warm up. And I didn't do this for the last year and a lot of my pain came back. So I highly recommend you go through the short foam rolling routine. It takes three and a half minutes. Next up, we're going lat. That means you're gonna go to your side. You're gonna have your hands where your hands over your elbow. Oh gosh, and my lats are sore. So you're really gonna feel this one. This one is one of the more painful ones. So you can always lean a little bit further back. We are gonna switch sides halfway. So we're gonna go through this nice and quick. Halfway. Other side, same thing. Put that hand over, roll into the side of your lats and back. It's gonna help alleviate a lot of issues. Next up, we're gonna go sit on it. We're gonna go glutes. So cross the leg over, whatever knees you have over, that hand is on the floor. So I have the hand I put on my ankle, I lean into it. So your hand, hip, and knee should all be in the same direction so you know you're facing the right way. Otherwise, you're not gonna really target your glute. And again, we'll switch that way. So I'll switch over, other side, get into that glute. Especially after a lot of our workouts that have glute work, this is gonna really feel good. The next one's not gonna feel so good. It's gonna be the IT band. So we're gonna start on the side of your hip. And you're gonna go from the side of the hip down to the knee and back. And yes, this may be extremely painful depending on how tight your IT band is. However, halfway, we're gonna roll into our quad and that'll be a little less painful. Halfway. So I'm gonna go down and now I'm gonna roll on that same leg, putting all my weight into that same leg and I'm going to roll on the top of my quad and the inside of my quad. Hit all the tight spots. I'm going to go to the other side. IT band from the hip to the knee. This one's going to be extremely important to help alleviate or prevent the knee pain, which I have plenty of lately. And not foam rolling has made it worse. So that's why I need to make sure we get the foam rolling halfway. Going to the quad. I'm going to go down into that quad. If it's too painful to do one leg, you can do both legs down on the foam roller. Hit all the tight spots that are tight for you. So I'm going to flip over. I'm going to do hamstrings. So I got it behind my knees. Lift your butt and roll back your hamstrings. Then halfway, we're going to do calves. The calves are naturally tight in a lot of people, which hinders your ankle mobility, which is why you have problems with uh, squat to stand or dollar squat. So halfway, calves, especially ladies, if you wear high heels, your calves are always in a very bad position, so you want to stretch them and foam roll them. And I would say do it on a daily basis. That's it. Cool. That is your foam rolling routine, three and a half minutes. Do this, followed by your 10 minute uh, mobility warm up, and then go right into your workout.